Hey guys, Kyle Cordion here, professional bass angler, and I tow full time using that tow and stow right there. That particular BMW tow and stow has been towing for two years nonstop, and I have not done the maintenance on it. So I need to be doing the maintenance on it probably every six months, at a minimum at the end of every year. And today I'm going to show you how filthy dirty that thing has gotten and a quick, easy way how to clean it, take care of it, help maintain your BMW tow and stow. The best hit, the best hitch out there. So you can see just how dirty this hitch is. Now I've only used one side of this ball. So all the rust, all the wear and tear has been on this for towing my boat. I haven't used this side at all, so it's still pretty clean, but we're still gonna take this whole thing apart and, and clean it all. You can see just touching it, you get all nasty. So we gotta clean this dude. Uh, let's just take it and break it down. So you really don't need hardly anything at all to do the maintenance on your B&W tow and stow. Simple set of paper towels, uh, a little grease rag or something, some all-purpose cleaner inside of any of the B&W products you buy, whether you're buying the turnover ball, the companion uh, for your fifth wheel, or the tow and stow. Right back here in the middle of it in the hitch maintenance section, they're going to give you a free pack of this white lithium grease. Now, you can go buy this at Walmart or any one of your hardware stores. You can buy uh, not the B&W, but any white lithium grease will work just fine. Uh, it tells you how to do the hitch maintenance on that particular hitch that you bought. So all you need is to just peel that off of there and you're gonna use that too. Uh, let's get in, I'll show you how dirty this thing is and go through the cleaning process and let's just try to clean this baby up. So first thing we gotta do is take this thing off. Now I've got a nice hitch lock right here that B&W makes that I really like. It's big heavy duty, got a big heavy duty key on it. And uh, first of all, first thing you wanna do is protect your investment. So B&W makes this really nice hitch lock right here. We're gonna take that out and see, we're gonna need to clean that too. This has not been off in two years. And then we're just gonna slide it out. You see there's a lot of rust. And there's our hitch, all dirty and off. So let's get to cleaning it. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take these pins out. So you just pop these cotter pins off, like so. This thing around. I got my towel down here to keep my table somewhat clean. And these will just slide right out and that's good but look at all the rust and stuff this is what we want to clean up this is what we're going to want to put that white lithium grease on to help this roll smooth that one's not as bad as the other one and then you've got your third pin so if you're not familiar with tow and stow one of those allows you to pivot the ball uh, to change ball sizes and the other one allows you to change the height and to turn around and stow it to keep it from hitting your shin so the tow and stow offers a lot of diversity so I have let this go way too long, so this is a lot dirtier than it should be. I definitely should be doing this more often. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hose this thing down with this all-purpose cleaner. It needs a bath, real bad. Wouldn't have been a bad idea to have some gloves on here because I'm gonna get rust all over me. It also wouldn't be a bad idea to have a bottle that was full. Paper towels, that's what I'm gonna use the paper towels for just to wipe all this down over and over and over. So I'm gonna speed this up for a time-lapse video, but this took about 15 minutes, uh, this first step of this, where I was using this all-purpose cleaner, wiping it down. Also made sure to wipe down the pins in this process. I actually went and got some WD-40. There was so much rust on some of this. Uh, I used the WD-40 to help knock out some of the rust. And I did that on the pins and on the hitch itself.
that. Something. I don't know if this is sand, road grime, or something, but something started to pack a bunch of sand or something in here, so you gotta clean all that up for sure. Again, I let this be hooked onto my boat trailer basically for 24 months straight without taking it off, without doing any maintenance. And there's a lot of elbow grease involved, a lot of uh, all-purpose cleaner. I even got some WD-40 out where I had uh, some extra rust I wanted to try to knock off. But all in all, this thing's got 50 to 75,000 miles on it, hooked up the entire time, and it's looking really good. The last thing I got left to do is to take these pins and hit them with some white lithium grease and anywhere you have moving parts. It ain't gonna hurt anything at all. Put this multi-purpose white lithium grease in there. So we're gonna just kind of wall it all around in there and all the moving parts and then put it back on the truck and then we're gonna be good to go. All right. We're just gonna open up our all-purpose white lithium grease, multi-purpose white lithium grease. I'm gonna take these pins here I'm gonna ease this out the top. Whatever it's gonna come out. And I'm just gonna put it, you know, if you if you imagine this stuff going in and out of these holes, um, you know, you can kind of get an idea where everything's gonna go. And I've got some paper towel remnants in some of these holes too. So but there's the grease coming out. I'm just gonna literally liberally apply it all the way up and down it like that, and then I'm gonna use my fingers and just rub it all in. Rub it all around that. Get that pen good and coated. All right, and then I'm gonna do that for the other two. Now, if you happen to need new pens for this, they sell replacement pens. Uh, if you've got one that you've worn out too bad, or uh, you just wanna get a brand new shiny pen, 100% uh, you can go to BW's website and you can order the replacement pins that way. So now I've got these all lubed up. All my fingers are covered in grease. I'm just gonna do uh, each cotter pin. Again, it never hurts to have this multi-purpose lithium grease on any of this stuff. And now I'm just gonna put some on my fingers and I'm gonna apply it in all these moving parts that I got. So this guy here, he moves. So I'm gonna rub it around these joints, pivots the ball. This guy here moves. Come in there and I'm just gonna move him. Try to get that grease all in there. Gonna make everything just work that much smoother. Wipe off any excess. Almost forgot to do my locking pin. Gotta clean that too. And I'm gonna put a little white lithium grease in my hitch lock too. Put a little bit in there. Put some on this pin.
One other really important thing is you put this white lithium grease on top of the actual ball. So you'll notice on mine, it's been hooked up for two years. I never took it off. I never put any lithium grease on there. And it starts to pit out that chrome finish on the top of that ball. So if you apply this white lithium grease to the actual top and all around the ball where it makes contact with your trailer, it's going to help prolong the life of your ball. And I'm even going to go over here and train and and clean my coupler out a little bit, uh, just with some multi-purpose cleaners and the BD-40. All right, let's put it on. All right, I'm gonna put this back in the tow position. Put my B&W trailer lock on there. You'll need two pins to set your drop hit type, which I already have marked. There's one pin. There's another pin. Okay, I'm gonna pick my ball hit height. Two inch is what I use all the time, 7,500 pounds. Plenty of toe strength for my, uh, for my bass boat. The third pin is used to set that height. Put it all in there. Yeah. Lock it in with my cotter pins. Go back around one more time with my towel, wipe down some of the excess grease. Man, I am really happy with how that turned out. If you consider the number of miles and the amount of road hazards and rocks that have been flying up and hitting this thing, this thing looks beautiful. Take a look at this thing. So hope that helps you guys. Don't do what I did. Don't wait that long to do maintenance on your BMW Tone and Stow. You can even keep it shinier and cleaner than that, considering that that was 720 days of nonstop towing. I think it did a fantastic job. Go out there, get your BMW trailer hitch, that Tone and Stow. It's the best towing hitch out there, no doubt about it. Hope you liked today's video. Click like, click subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.